What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I thought I would do a what I eat in a day. So I've only had coffee, iced coffee that I went out to get to meet up with a friend this morning and I'm feeling kind of jittery. Um, it was a large and there's no food in my stomach and I just had to do because I had to do my check-in photos with my coach. Um, so we're gonna go downstairs and I don't know. I thought uh, I got a few new things that I wanted to try with you guys, so that's why I was like, oh, I'll do what I eat in a day. Of course, macro counting, all that fun stuff. Hopefully when my coach gets back to me, <laughs> maybe he'll add a few more carbs. I mean, my carbs are a pretty good amount, but yeah. So, let's go get food. So the other day when I was at Sprouts, I found this vegan gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread and I was like, I really want to try that. But then I was like, what does that go with? Oh, cream cheese. So I grabbed the Tofuti brand of cream cheese because it was the less expensive one. Um, so I put a little bit on. I haven't tried any vegan cream cheese since I've gone vegan, but let me see alone. It has that taste of cream cheese, but then it also has this like weird Play-Doh taste. It's okay. Let's see how it tastes with like the bread. I should have toasted it, but I didn't. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, with the bread. Oh yeah. That is so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Totally recommend this. I haven't tried this brand yet. It's called Northern Bakehouse. Yeah, it just says delicious, gluten free, 100% plant based, and egg free. So, yes, for all you other gluten free people out there, this is delicious. Mm. So, I decided I'm gonna make a breakfast burrito because I have these brown rice tortillas, some of these. Refried beans. When you buy refried beans, either have the non-fat or as to say vegetarian, otherwise it has lard in it. Um, I have some tofurkey chorizo and it's mozzarella, not cheddar, but you know, it's whatever, the diet, cheese, and then some salsa oh, to put on top of it. So I'm gonna put it all together and then I'll show you guys. I may have put a bit too much on the small tortilla, but let me see if it'll fold, because like brown rice, I feel like may break apart. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is not gonna work. Yeah, it's too big. Um, I'm gonna eat this like, well, now we have a taco. A really big ass taco, so. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> so, I feel like, I mean, I'm satiated as in I'm full, but I'm so used to having something kind of sweet for breakfast, like usually I'm like an oatmeal with like chocolate protein powder and stuff. Um, so I'm craving something kind of sweet. So I was I decided to make like a little quick protein pudding using protein powder and some quick jello pudding, like cause this stuff is actually vegan. <laughs> Only certain flavors, they're pistachio, vanilla, chocolate, and I think like banana cream might be. Um, I, I can't remember exactly which ones, but they're they're sugar-free, fat-free ones. And so I'm gonna just mix some of this with some of this with some almond milk and eat that. Maybe top it off with some nut butter. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I have my pudding here. I did about like almost three servings of the pudding mix and then about a scoop of the protein powder, and then I have like a little less than the two servings of um, sunflower seed butter. Cause, mm. So I'm butter alive. So I'm gonna go watch some Lord of the Rings and eat this because Lord of the Rings is life. So yeah, maybe do work on my computer at the same time. Oh, we'll see. So I'm about to go do some studying for the GMAT and I know I'm gonna like get hungry during it and so it's not distract me, I'm just gonna make a really quick snack and I'm going to make a protein waffle. Now instead of using the lion's pack 
protein mix since I ran out. I'm gonna make a protein waffle and kind of it's inspired by Amanda Bucci's one carb protein waffle. This isn't gonna be one carb um, because of the protein powder I'm using, but it is gonna be very low carb because instead of an egg or egg white, I'm gonna use aquafaba as my egg replacement instead of also using like a flax egg or something and then just some vanilla protein powder. Matt had a little vanilla extract and a little butter extract to make it kind of like a birthday cake flavor, so you'll see how it comes out. I have one of my waffles in the little waffle iron right now. I'm just having some instant decaf coffee just because I love the taste of coffee and I don't know, I was craving it. So I feel like having it right now. With um, ripple milk and then some stevia. Just wanted to show you guys what the first one came out like. So it looks like that. Um, it didn't hold together super well, so it definitely needed a little more cooking than the little timer went off. But let's try a taste test of it. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Definitely needs a little longer cooking. So with the next one that's in there, I'll leave it a little longer. All right, so here are the other two. I ate the third. So the recipe does end up creating three small ones. You can see from the size of my hand um, what they come out to look like. And they have these cute little peace signs. I found that at, online at uh, Urban Outfitters. It was like $15 or something like that. And I was like, I'm just making waffles. But yeah, they're not exactly like the one carb waffle because the protein powder that I use has four grams of carbs, but it has 24 grams of protein and I think 1.5 fat. And then baking powder and then I used aquafaba which has like it has just trace calories but there's no really nutritional facts I didn't count it um, but I used 30 grams of that because that's roughly two egg whites um, so they come out perfect and smell so good so I'm gonna go take these upstairs and eat while I study otherwise um, I'll see you guys for the next meal or maybe I'll go to the gym after we'll see yeah so the hot dog bun kind of fell apart so that's a fail, but um, as a pre-workout snack, I decided to make a quick veggie dog, hot dog. So let's see if we can, got some sauerkraut right here. Put that on top with some mm, mustard. Here, let's see, that's a bit a little nicer in there. Whoa, too much. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. I found these like gluten free buns. Not all their bread of this brand. It's they're all gluten free, but not all of them are vegan. So you have to just read the ingredients so this one doesn't have eggs, but some of them do, but mm. Otherwise beef free is another brand that makes like gluten-free all the gluten-free vegan stuff um, Breads and stuff. So it's pretty cool. And then sour This is like a dill pickle sauerkraut. So it's perfect for this Mmm mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this up and then we'll head to the gym. I like. I wanted another quick sweet snack. So I'm having frozen blueberries with cinnamon, tossed in cinnamon. It is so good. You need to try this. So just like get frozen blueberries and then put them in a bowl, sprinkle some cinnamon and toss them around. And it's just like oh, cold. But well, well, well. So I just realized it is pretty busy time at the gym right now, so I may not be able to film. Um, but I guess I'll try taking the camera with me. We'll see if I'm able to influence. I don't know. Okay, I apologize for not being able to film my workout, but it was just so, so packed. So I, I couldn't close. Yeah, it would just not have worked out unless I had someone like holding the camera for me. But yeah, um, I went quickly to Vaughn's looking for one thing and coming out with something else. I just grabbed some rice cakes, so I'm gonna eat one of them since one is zero fat. 
eight carbs and one protein and I just need something really quickly in my stomach um, before I get home. So I'm trying to munch on one of these. So I just got home and just to beat the quick craving of having donuts and miniature diet Dr. Pepper. I know some people are just like, oh my gosh, Katya, diet sodas. Those ain't healthy, but you know, I'm not gonna have the real soda, so it just helps curb the appetite a bit because I'm just like ravenous and yeah, I had a moment in the store where I was like, oh, could I have the cheat day? I don't know. We're gonna talk about binging in just a bit. So, but first, I'm gonna get me some food in my belly. Make something with zucchini because what's like a full day of eating for me without zucchini involved, I feel like. So, let me go make something real quick. Just making more protein waffles. Yep, these ones are just the same vanilla. I did almond extract inside. Let's see. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, and then I'll top it off with 15 grams of sun butter. Stuff, so good. One more rice cake. Mm. So my last calories for the night is this decaf instant coffee with just some ripple and some almond milk. Mm. Just tastes so good. But yeah, so I wanted to talk about, it's, it's kind of a somewhat popular, well, no, nah, I don't want to say popular in like a positive way, but there's been a bigger rise of like eating disorders and stuff like that. And I wouldn't say that I have quite an eating disorder, but like I have had issues of sometimes binging in the past and now it's, it has nothing, it's not like a cheat day. That's different. Binging is when you just like eat and eat and eat, even past the feeling of like fullness and it just like hurts. You're just like hurting your body at that point. I've never purged or anything like that, so no, I wouldn't consider myself having like an eating disorder. This is not something that happens constant. Actually, like my triggers or whatever I've noticed is like what it could be for today is like I might be starting my menstrual cycle soon. Um, that actually sometimes happens. Like I will get ravenously hungry and then I'll be in the store and I'll be like, Oh, but I deserve it, you know, I've been working hard, my macros, la di da And so I kind of want to give the tips and tricks that I've been able to practice myself for people who may be struggling with the same thing. So definitely one thing that stopped me when I was in the store, even though I was so, so hungry, was like, okay, you know what? I set myself like one day a week to have a cheat day. I'm going to stick to that. So giving yourself the flexibility of one day having at least a cheat day kind of like gives your mind that break because sometimes when you're on like a strict strict day for a long long time it makes it way easier to have a binge and so allowing yourself like one day a week or one every other week depending on like where your macros are you know it, it gives you that satiation of like okay letting yourself have those foods once in a while because it's called you know having things in moderation it's not going to kill you one day of bad eating and if you do binge it's like don't kill yourself over it just get back on track on the next day you know like forgive yourself because that's i remember that was like one of the hardest things that i would have to deal with is like i feel like crap you know if you binge rather than had a cheat day because it, it's a different mentality going into both of them and for me it always like happens at night it's always night when i get my cravings and it's just like i'm like yellow you know what my my weight was the same as it was last week with my check-ins doing fine i can always do extra cardio it's just making these excuses but just like in anything in life you can't ex make excuses for things and just try to bypass them you know it's it's it just doesn't work that way you know so for me um to you guys who are struggling with the same thing who have had that moment and where i like was in the store i was like you know i could buy these treats and i could have it but then also i was like wait i'm Filming a what I eat day, I would feel like a hypocrite if then I just like stopped filming and didn't upload this. So I was able to get back on track and be like, no, you know, I'm gonna go home and eat, stick to my macros. You know, if I go, you know, I'll just drink a lot of water, put flavor in it, do what I can. Having soda sometimes, you know, a diet soda will help sometimes. I don't always recommend that. I just do that very rarely. I try to drink diet sodas very, very rarely. Just because I like to avoid, um, you know, artificial sweeteners, stuff like that for gut health and all that but yeah 
So I know it's like a serious topic and we could always go more in depth about it um, But I just want to show you the raw self of me of how I just dealt with that moment in the store And I was like no and how I said no and what I did to you know combat that feeling Because for me I mean I'm like hey I can give the excuse of I'm not on prep yet or anything So it doesn't really matter you know The excuses will try to blindfold you and that's what's gonna happen and it's having to stick to that truth of like it's okay one no if you're in a diet stick to it you know it it, ha it shows dedication you know it shows that you have you're responsible about yourself you know it just it proves a lot about yourself so like commend yourself for doing it and reward yourself later set yourself a day and so for me it's like I do it on my refeed and but if you have a binge like forgive yourself drink lots of water afterwards you are gonna weigh more in the morning so maybe the next morning you don't even weigh yourself um, for me when I have a plan cheat day I know I'll weigh more in the next morning so I don't mind it but sometimes when you have a binge and then you you're in a, you're already in a bad mentality so you wake up and you're like oh and then you want to like starve it's just like it's a whole awful cycle but don't do that don't do that so yes you can persevere through any tough trials we are put through trials for reasons so that's why my you can't see it but my tattoo it says persevere on it because yeah it has to do with the bible verse but whatever i love you guys and i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope what i had to say was helpful it was very short I mean, I don't know what to say. I've never, I'm not someone who's ever really like, struggled strictly with like a certain eating disorder. I feel like it's quite popular to find people struggling with it on YouTube and people talking about it. I'm like, oh, I don't come from that, but I struggle with something different and we all struggle with something, you know? So oh, if you are on that same boat of like, I don't have an eating disorder, but I have binged a few times, girl, I feel you, I feel you. Or guy, whoever you are. Um, so yes, uh, I don't know. I'm just like ranting by this point, and probably I'm gonna go watch Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you liked it, <laughs> give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And if you have any recommendations of what I should do for my next cheat day, comment below. What foods would you like to see me eat or create? So yeah, I love you all. You guys have a good rest of your day, night, morning, whatever time it is. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.